Hi, welcome to a really short video um, in order to explain which solid state loggers will work with Home Assistant and allow you local access. The reason for this video is since making my previous videos, I had absolutely loads of questions from various people. Um, some have contacted me via the comments, some have contacted me via the Facebook group, um, trying to get this set up and working. And I'm obviously always, always happy to help. But um, one of the things that's come to light is obviously people weren't aware that perhaps their data logger um, won't work um, with Home Assistant in the way that I, I set mine up. So, you know, just to sort of give a quick recap, the setup that I've used in, in my videos is with um, an old um, DS, DLSW logger, which is one of the original ones. Um, at the time my system was installed, I didn't even realize it was an older one, but actually I've been really fortunate um, because that, uh, that logger does allow local access. But anyway, yeah, what I'm gonna do is just, yeah, run through the different types of logger and um, use this, uh, this little matrix chart here. This was actually taken from the Solace owners Facebook group from another user. Um, I hope they don't mind me, me using it, but it's such a brilliant bit of reference material. I thought I'd, I'd borrow it and hopefully save some of you some time. So the data loggers are across the top here, the different types. So we've got the DLSW, uh, which is the original wireless uh, data logging stick. So it's obviously wireless only. Um, you'll notice that all of the Solace loggers work with Solus Cloud, um, as you would expect. Um, the DLSW does um, allow Solarman access locally and um, Solace Cloud simultaneously. So that's that's the setup that I have. There's also the hardwired uh, DLSL uh, logging stick, which is the uh, it's got the physical Ethernet port uh, on it. Um, I also have one of those because I was going to hardwire my. Um, my uh, network connection to my inverter um, i've actually got the cable run done now but as my wireless is working pretty well i haven't actually um haven't actually done that so maybe that's something that i'll do in the future but you can see um obviously allowed um solace cloud access um you can use um home assistant with tcp modbus but not solarman um so um, yet there is local access available. I think you can probably use the Solax, um, S-O-L-A-X integration in Home Assistant with that. That certainly was my intention when I bought the stick. Uh, as I say at the moment, um, I've not actually tested that. And it will allow you to have Solace Cloud and Home Assistant local access running simultaneously. What uh, most people now have, um, is the, um, or certainly on the new installs, is the S3 um, logging stick. And unfortunately that does not allow any kind of local access. So it's what, yeah, Wi-Fi only, um, and it will allow um, Solace Cloud um, logging obviously, and it allows you very basic remote access via Solace Cloud. So it would not natively allow local access or any kind of integration into Home Assistant other than the Solace um, Solace Cloud integration into Home Assistant, which gives you, it basically pulls the API um, on Solace Cloud and just imports the stats. So it's not real time or anything like real time, um, which um, I, I must admit when I first got my system and I, I had the Solace Cloud integration into Home Assistant, it's it's okay because you're getting the information into one place, but you're, you're not really gaining a lot. Uh, we also have the S2 um, stick as well, which is both wired and wireless. Um, I know there's a few people that have got those. Um, so you see that has Solace Cloud access, um, Solace Cloud remote control as well. Um, and it will also allow access via TCP Modbus. Um, it will not allow simultaneous um, Solace Cloud and Home Assistant access though. So for those users which are you, you know you've probably recently got your system and you do have the s3 uh wi-fi uh logger all is not lost there is um an option that's available to you to get local home assistant access working again this isn't something that i've done personally but there is um numerous examples in the facebook group of people that have done that 
and this is to use um, a device called a WaveShare, which is literally a um, RS-485 to Ethernet, or uh, you can get a USB version as well, adapter. Again, this is a, an image I've taken from the Facebook owners group. I hope that people don't mind me doing that. Um, and it shows that the setup and testing what they that they have done there. So here we do have a um, an S3 logger and um, the WaveShare devices, and that permits local access with um, Home Assistant, as well as maintaining that um, connectivity to Solace Cloud as well. Uh, as I say, it's not something I've done myself. Um, it's something that maybe I'll have a play with in the future, um, but the, the devices are out there um, in order to facilitate that. You can literally get them from Amazon uh, or direct from waveshare.com, I think. So anyway, I hope you found this um, say short video. Um, hopefully it will save some people some time. Um, if you're not already a member of the Solace Owners Facebook group, there's loads of really useful information in there. Um, and generally, there'll be someone that's already done what you're trying to achieve if you haven't had a look at that. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.